<clears throat> now my question is, does this pick up audio? Because there were birds screaming and it's absolutely gorgeous. I like going this way. It's not the way most people go, but it's, I, I like going this way. Um, Maury, if, Maury, if you're watching this, this is where I tripped earlier. So for you, I'm being extra careful. There, I didn't trip. Aren't you proud of me? I wish that as I'm taking a photo, uh, a video on my phone, that uh, it would let me listen to music at the same time, but I can't. Because uh, right now I'd be listening to the crane waves. We're gonna go into the woods, into the woods, I shouldn't sing. I really do hope this is capturing audio, so otherwise this will be very awkward. Can you hear the river? You should be able to hear it now if you can hear me. It's very noisy. You know, there's supposedly like cougars and shit in this woods. I mean, if you're gonna go down, you might as well die to a bear. That's a, that's a pretty sick way to die. See, you know, like that's something that would lead to a cougar den right there. Dude. I could be getting by the fair right now and I wouldn't even be mad. Most of this little trail here is me and my brother and my friends. Cause like nobody goes this way. Ooh, sunlight. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Woo! Here's the river. Been walking about five minutes now. It's a little bench here. Stick. Yeah, this is the type of ship that I need a 
pair of, of boots for it because uh, I'd really like to stomp around here in boots like like some edgy scene kid even though I'm not a scene kid Ooh, mud a little mud Ooh. it's a frog you probably can't see it This place always makes me sad. You see, once there was a big storm and it broke down a lot of the branches and the trees around here. And one of the branches that broke off was of that tree right there, that sideways one. And tied to that branch was a rope swing. And we used to swing on that rope swing. And we used to spend hours here just chilling on the rope swing and eating apples out of like this old Winnie the Pooh blanket I had. It might have been a pillowcase, I don't know, it was a few years ago. But then the storm hit and it fell and people took it away. So now we don't have a rope swing anymore. And it's sad. And I miss my rope swing. And now we go up this hill, which I actually took a photo of before. I need to get my mom to buy me a new pair of shoes. Like you can see my sock through there. But money's tight, so she won't. Oh, there's glass. That's cool. And it's now only been 10 minutes. And now we're back up. There's the bridge I took a photo of earlier. See now we're on the other side. There's the there's the river. It's just the rocks. River. Suburbs. And now we walk up. I really hope this works because uh, that was my personal little secret path. Like, I'm hoping other people, my like dogs and coyotes and shit, uses it, but I consider it to be mine because I've never seen anybody else when I walk down there that I have bought myself. But you know. I also want you to comment on my accent because I don't think it's very Australian or British or any other shit. My mom says it's actually kind of like American, which makes sense because I spent a lot of my childhood in America. So I'm like 16 different accents jumbled on top of each other depending on where I live for most of my life. Like, uh, we were road tripping around Europe and uh, we were listening to audiobooks. So I picked up a distinctly English accent because the guy who was reading the audiobooks was English. And so he spoke with an English accent all the time. And then we grew out of it and we got an American accent slash Canadian accent 
because we were living in Washington with a family of Canadians. And now we're back to where we started. Eleven. Gonna wait till that says eleven, eleven, and then I'm gonna end it. Three, two, one.